The county police officers getting ready to go home from the hospital. You could see him right there after being shot last Thursday. Officer Michael LaFauci was shot in the line of duty while chasing a robbery suspect. Long Island reporter Shante Lance live outside of Stony Brook University Hospital with more. Shante. Well, David Michael, Officer Michael LaFauci left this hospital, as you just mentioned, with his baby and his fiance by his side. His fiance, by the way, is an MT worker at this hospital. This all happening as a police commissioner saying he's just grateful that his officer is alive. <laughs> Loud cheers by Suffolk County police for one of their own. Yeah. Officer Michael LaFauci leaves Sony Brook Hospital after he was shot in his thigh. <laughs> This was a six-year veteran last week, surrounded by officers using two tourniquets to save his life. The cop was chasing robbery suspect 20-year-old Janelle Funderburg in Corum when police say Funderburg opened fire. Today, Suffolk PD and the police union say they're thankful for a speedy recovery. I have a frustration. I have an anger that somebody shot one of my police officers. He tried to take Mike away from us. We're very glad Mike is coming home today. For that, we are extremely, extremely happy. This is a great day, a great, great day for Suffolk County because one of our heroes, Police Officer Michael LaFauci, is coming home today. And that was Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone. He also commended the officer that saved the the doctor that saved the officer's life. He, as far as that suspect, he's also going. He pleaded not guilty to attempted aggravated murder of a police officer. His family says he has a mental health condition.